Today we get back my faded Yu-Gi-Oh cards from CGC. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. In today's video, I have a CGC return where I sent out a bunch of faded cards because if you've seen my returns with PSA, they don't really grade faded like very well, I don't think. I think they usually give them way too low of a score. So we're gonna try and send some to, to CGC. We already have sent them. You're gonna see the pre-grade in just a second, but we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. We have an LOB Original Celtic Guardian, a FL1 Dark Magician. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know your favorite card from this return. I think there's 12 different faded cards cards so a lot of good options a lot of really cool stuff let's hop into the pre-grade and then we'll come back and see what we got all right guys let's check out the cards we're sending to cgc and these are all faded metal raiders cards for i think every single card i might have a couple that are not but we have a very yellow faded harpy lady sisters as you guys can see this card's really nice it does have a little bit of something going on right there i don't know what that is a little bit of something going on right there the surface looks pretty good besides that back looks pretty incredible corners all look pretty nice on this card i mean this thing centering is not completely perfect but it's pretty nice we've got uh okay it looks pretty good edges maybe at the top a little bit going on there but not too bad honestly a pretty nice card other than whatever this is right here i feel like i should try to like wipe that off but you gotta be really careful with these old cards trying to wipe stuff off okay with that stuff on the edge and a little bit being off centered i'd say like best case scenario is like a like a nine something like that that's what i'm gonna go with um we're gonna do like 0.5s in our predictions as well we're not gonna do all like the service and everything we're just gonna guess the overall grade for our predictions though our second card is a sangha of the thunder and yes it is also very yellow and very faded we gotta be very careful with these surface oh wow that is nice centering is slightly that way but honestly not too bad you know the surface is just incredible we got something there i think we can just yeah we can just wipe that off um any scratches on here not many from what i can tell the corners appear to be pretty nice maybe a little bit something going on there maybe a little bit of like there seems to be one of these old faded cards like the edges look like they have some edge wear but it's not really anything there so this card's pretty nice we're gonna sleeve this right back up but I would say this one is a 9.5 candidate. I don't know if a 10 is in range because like this centering, they could maybe give like a 9.5, I think, or a nine. So we don't know where that's going to go. That was basically it, to be honest. So I, I would say like 9.5 is my guess for that one. Then we've got another member of the Gate Guardian squad. We've got Suijin. This card looks beautiful as well. Check that. Oh my goodness. I think this one looks the best in Faded. I think it's because the blue just goes really well. The back looks good. There's a little bit of white right there. We might be able to brush off, but it doesn't seem to be coming off. I'll have to try that afterward, but pretty. Oh yeah, that one came off. So a uh, corner looks good there. We've got a corner there. Corner, corner, all beautiful. That's the only real thing on the surface that we're seeing. Front surface looks incredible. Corners looks good. Centering is very similar. I think actually a little bit better than the, uh, the Sangha. Honestly, this card is nearly perfect. Maybe if this little speck can come off, it'll be actually perfect. This card honestly maybe does have a chance at the 10. I'm not totally sure if we will actually get it, but I'm going to be optimistic and say that we're going to get like three subgrade 10s and then one 9.5 or whatever you need for a 10. I think this has a chance at it, so we're going to go for it. Hopefully it does get the 10. I think 9.5 is like the worst case scenario for that one. The third brother of the Gate Guardian triplets. Here we go. We have the Kazijin. This card also looks incredible. Top edge. Okay, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's just the normal with the faded stuff. It's like, it looks like there's whitening up there, but it's really just like the way it shines off of it. Back surface is, wow, super nice, super minty. We didn't check the front corners, but they seem to be pretty good. Yep, it looks pretty good on the top. Centering is a little bit off. It's like the song guy, I think, but not too bad. Wow, this card is very, very nice. I'm going to predict a 9.5 for this one just because I think the centering's a little bit worse. So we'll probably get like maybe a nine. You know, that could happen. But honestly, an amazing card. I think that has a great chance of getting even a 10 potentially. Now we're getting on to the ultra rares. We have a barrel dragon. Very nice barrel dragon. We have the centering of basically the same centering we've been seeing. It's actually pretty nice overall. It's not perfect, but it's pretty nice. That that same top edge kind of thing where it looks a little bit like whitening. Hopefully they don't take off for that. Uh, surface looks incredible on this card. Surface on the back looks very nice. A couple of speckles that I think were, you know, just nothing, just little dots. The corners seem to be pretty good. There's a little speckle right there. Doesn't seem to be coming off. Uh, we've got corners look 
pretty nice. Corners here look nice. Wow, this card looks really good. Okay, so another one that I'm saying, uh, because of the centering is not 100% perfect, we're gonna go 9.5, but I think this has a good chance. And by the way, I'm gonna be talking about this a lot in this video, but because these cards are faded and PSA will not give them an accurate grade, I'm sending all of these to CGC, and that's basically why. Because they're okay with fading, like they'll just label it as like uh, low ink, I think. So it won't actually take off from the grade, which is pretty exciting. Next up, we have a change of heart. Here's an interesting one. I don't know what they're gonna do with the text because the text is a little bit like faded as well. Uh, I don't really know how they're gonna grade that, but this is still a really cool card. Surface appears to be really, really nice. This is such a beautiful card, especially since it just came off the ban list. Centering is definitely going that way on this one. Back surface looks real nice. Okay, there's a little bit of scratching in there. You can see that. So that's probably gonna take off on the surface a little bit. Corners look nice. Okay, we got something. What is going on down here? Is that a little extra card on there? You guys see that little extra card going on that? Wait, yeah, look at this. It's it's like cut like this. It's like where it was cut and then there's a little extra card. I never noticed that before. So I don't know how that's gonna get graded. That's gonna be interesting. So a little bit of scratching. It's got a weird edge. I think edges will probably get a pretty low grade, honestly, because of that, um, unless they consider it an error. So honestly, at this one, we're probably gonna be lucky to get a nine. I would say like, because of the scratching, we get like nine on a surface. We probably get like a nine on centering. We probably get like nine. Yeah, we'll probably still get a nine because we're gonna get a lot of nines. Uh, we'll go pessimistic because there's a lot of issues. Let's go 8.5 on this one. Still really beautiful card though. I mean, it's honestly in great shape though. It just has like a weird edge and like a couple of scratches on it. All right, a couple more cards. We have a Solemn Judgment. This card is literally gray. It's like there's literally no red left in this card. I mean, there's a slight, slight 10, but that's about it. Centering looks absolutely not perfect. OK, it's a little bit off, but it's not that bad. Surface looks great. Corners look very nice on that. OK, back surface. Very beautiful. OK, maybe if you look in there, there's like one scratch I can see. Not too much corners there. We got corners at the bottom. So this one honestly looks really good, really good. Centering could be a nine. That scratch on the back could bring it back to, down to a nine service. I think we could get a 9.5 here. I'm gonna go with nine though, because there's a couple of issues. We're gonna guess nine on the overall grade here. Next up, another gray card, a gray first edition mirror force. This would be a cool one to run like a go deck. It's just very, very awesome. That'd be a nice flex. Okay, so there's a little bit of stuff going on here. You guys told me about this actually in the return video. I don't know what this is. It's like something got on the printer or something because it seems like it's it's literally in the card. It's not a scratch. It's very crazy. I don't know how they're going to grade that. That's definitely going to take off, though, I would say. But it's some sort of like weird error. The back appears to be pretty good overall. From what we can see, the corners look pretty good. Let's see if we see anything on these corners. Nope. These corners, nope. Okay, so we have centering that slightly to the left. As usual, most of these have been slightly to the left. We have this weird stuff going on there and pretty much nothing on the back. So I don't know how they're gonna grade that at the bottom. Probably service will get like an eight or something like that. So I'm gonna go like 8.5 on this one just because of all of that at the bottom, if you guys can see that. I mean, there's a whole corner going on there. It looks kind of cool to be honest, but I don't know what it is. Next up is the Time Wizard. This is gonna be a long PSA return because this pre-grade's already been like super long. The Time Wizard also has the same issue where it looks like, honestly, it looks like water got on there or something like that and they printed a bubble onto it. So there's a big long line down here too as well. So it's definitely not that great terms of surface that's definitely gonna hurt but a really pretty card in general like you can't even see it if you look at it like this you can only see that little part um, back surface is really beautiful corners are beautiful i mean the card looks good it's just really unfortunate that whatever happened there happened because centering on this one's actually pretty good because of that like all the way down the card i'm gonna have to say this is gonna get like an eight service so i'm gonna go like 8.5 on this one as well and let's just see i think it'll be pretty in a slab either way it's a really nice card two cards to go we have a b skull dragon faded and you guys know how well we do with b skull but this one, it looks like also had, I didn't notice any of this stuff when I first got this collection, but it looks like it also had all this stuff on it. The surface looks pretty decent overall besides that. This one's not nearly as bad as some of the other ones, but the centering's great on this. The corners look good, corners look good. Back surface looks great. Okay, actually corner up there maybe has a little bit of whitening right there. Okay, nice, and then we have corners down there. So honestly, a pretty nice card, but that surface is definitely gonna come back to bite it, but it's, let's see, okay, it is kind of a lot. Let's just go with another 8.5 with this one. I think that's what we gotta guess. Maybe even a nine on that one, because that's basically the only issue, but we'll have to see. Right, and we have a thousand dragon secret rare. What a beautiful card. And then we have a little bit on the edge, of course, the natural edge issues. I don't, can't tell if that's on there. Okay, yeah, the edge is a little bit edge going on there. The centering is honestly pretty good on this card. 
Services night. Wait, is there something up there? Like a little tiny dot right there. It's not perfect. Uh, back surface. Ooh, that looks nice. Okay. Uh, corners look good. Wow, this card's super nice, actually. So this Thousand Dragon looks really good. This one might be the best card we've had in a while. Honestly, this one I think could maybe get a 9.5 overall. I would say 10, but I think there is a little bit going on up there, like a couple of things on the top edge, but still really, really beautiful card. So Thousand Dragon looks like it could be a 9.5. And finally, we have a Gate Guardian. This thing has a big old either print line or scratch. It looks like a print line because it goes all the way across. Well, it stops in the middle and then comes back, but big old print line on its surface. Besides that, though, looks pretty good. Centering is pushed over to the left like most Gate Guardians are, even this faded one. Uh, back centering is pretty nice. Corners look pretty good. I mean, it's pretty nice besides that big old scratch right there, but it's just a really, really sick card. I mean, just look at this thing guys it looks really beautiful so with the off center and the big old scratch i'm gonna say this is gonna get an 8.5 i think maybe even a nine if we get a little bit lucky but honestly i'm really excited for this sub because these cards are really really beautiful so let's go and see what they got all right now that you guys have seen the pre-grade i don't remember what i predicted i didn't do like surface prediction stuff i just did overall predictions because there's four different grades on each of these which makes these super fun to do and i'm super excited for this so i'm gonna crack into this thing i'm assuming it's not gonna be that easy to cut open and then we'll get into it Okay, after like five minutes of pulling this out of the box, basically just ripping it open, I have no idea how you're supposed to open those. Like I had figured out PSA the way to get those open. I have not figured out the CGC yet. Let's go into the first card and let's see what we got. So here are those nice CGC cases I really like. You guys can see the surface looks really good here. The fun thing is we have to use this, this card to cover up the label. We're using an Elemental Hero Clayman to cover up what we got because we don't want to see it. There is a Harpy Lady Sisters faded. And I don't remember what I predicted for these, but they were all in pretty nice condition. Some had a couple like splotches and stuff on them, but I really, which side is the full grit? Is it on this side? So do we need to start from over here? I can't remember. Okay, we have edges 10. Okay, very good start to this return. A 10 subgrade, we will take that. We have the corners 10. Okay, this is looking good looking good what else can we get come on we've got a 8.5 no is it because of the fade no tell me it's not because of the fade all right okay what else and then a nine centering so it got a nine error on it okay nine error what okay this I don't, okay what is that what is that that's that case is completely scratched okay i don't know what this is on the case it's definitely scratched but you know that's just how it goes with grading companies somehow they, they're always scratched uh, the surface, maybe was there some issues? I don't know. I don't know. The back, I mean, look at the back surface. That thing looks amazing. The front, I mean, it must have been because of the fading. I don't know. I don't know. A two tens, but it gets a nine overall. It's unfortunate. Centering nine, do I agree with that? Wait, what? Maybe it's a little bigger on the top, but that feels a little harsh for nine on the centering. Back centering, honestly, the centering is not that bad. Okay, back centering is not that great but uh yeah okay all right well not the worst we got two like 10 subgrades so we can't complain about that starting off with a nine now we have a nice surface wait 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 wait. is there a dent right there is that a dent what is that that looks like a dent what is that thing i don't remember what card this is i guess we'll find out but uh oh insufficient ink is written on the back by the way so that's pretty cool i don't know what that is what card is this song of the thunder so apparently there's a dent in the back Wait, is there another? What's up with the middle of the case is all having this junk on them? That's kind of weird. Okay. Uh, centering appears to be pretty decent. Even better, I would say, on this one. Back surface appears to be really good, except this, whatever that is. I don't know what that is, so that looks pretty bad. Let's see what we got on the first one. Edges 10. So our edges are looking pretty strong right now. We're getting a lot of 10s, which is good. Corners are a 10 as well. So this is, I mean, look at this. The same thing. 10s on both of those so far. Very beautiful. And surface seven it has to be from that dent that's what it has to be i guess and then centering nine so we got an eight so two tens but it's an eight because of this whatever this thing is that's a really weird dent i don't know what that is so this is an eight but that's like an extremely strong eight but yeah that's unfortunate but at least it got two ten subgrades which is really cool i guess it's like as minty of an eight as you're gonna get basically well i guess the centering of like the center was like a five then that could be that all right the surface looks really good on this one as well but uh we don't, we don't see anything weird like we did last time so let's get the clay man let's cover it up let's not try not to ruin anything it's the sewage and i remember a couple of these were like super nice i think i predicted a 10 on, on one of them maybe 9.5 it's all always in the middle the surface is or the uh, not the surface but the uh, case has stuff all over it uh centering appears to be pretty good maybe this is the one that can get us a nice grade uh edges got a 10 okay hopefully edges and corners can do it again 
Corners got a 10. Okay, so the same uh, results. These, these cards were very nice in a lot of ways. Now, here's the moment of truth. What will the surface get? Are they going to give them all 8.5 for the fade? Are you kidding me? Why is the surface getting docked for this? This is so dumb. It has to be for that because these both, I didn't see anything. And they got 8.5s. I mean, we're still getting better grades than at PSA where we're getting like 8s. But still, like, this is clearly a 10. Because 10, 10, 9.5. And they're giving 1.5 grades off because it's faded. I mean, let's look at this thing. You can see almost through it. Okay, maybe there's a little... Is there a little bit going on in the back, maybe? Maybe there's scuffs. Maybe there's scuffs. But if it was in the pre-grade, then maybe I'm just forgetting about that. If there's scuffs and it got an 8.5, it's like, okay, that's that's one thing. I just hope it's not for the faded. But it just seems weird that they both got an 8.5. The 7, I understand, because, like, I mean, a big dent in it, you know? Or not, not really big, but, like, a weird dent in it. That makes sense, so... I don't know. Oh, man. I was just hoping that they would, like, just grade it based on, like, the quality of the service, not the color. I don't know if they did that... Wait, this one doesn't say insufficient ink. What card is this? Did I have a non-faded card or is this one just less faded? Okay, this is weird. All right, let's see. The surface appears to be pretty good on this one, whatever it is. Uh, okay, this one apparently is not insufficient ink. Will they grade it? Now, let's see. If this gets like a surface 10, I'm going to be very upset. Okay, this is very nice. Well, I won't be upset. I'll be happy, but there, it's there again. Every every time it's right there, there's a like messed up on the cases. So I don't know what's going on. Okay, that surface looks good. Uh, it's a little bit off centered, I would say. Let's see what we got. 10 edges. At this point, I'm just expecting it because these cards were so nice. 9.5 corners, our first 9.5. Okay, we'll have to check those out. Let's see what the surface got. Moment of truth. Can we get over an 8.5? Nine. It doesn't say insufficient ink. It's 9.5. And then 9.5. So we got a 9.5. This is apparently the best one. The only one that doesn't have 10, 10 corners is the best grade. That is very interesting. Let's see the corners. Corner looks good. Okay, wait. Yeah, I mean, I guess I can see that. There is a little bit going on there. Okay, there we go. That's what it is. That's why I got a 9.5. Okay. Yeah, that's reasonable. This is kind of what I expected for the sewage, except maybe even better. But we'll, I mean, we'll take it. We'll take it. 9.5. Pretty nice. I don't know why that one's not insufficient ink. This one. We're back to insufficient ink. Can we get anything with insufficient ink label above an 8.5? Please. Okay, that. What is that? Oh, it's gone. Okay, that was just must have been like a hair or something. Okay. There's another one. What is going on? Why are these so hairy? Somebody was grading this for their dogs or something. All right, very nice. Appears to be pretty good. All right. I don't remember what I predicted. There's a lot of cards in here, so we're not gonna like go over the cards like insanely uh thoroughly. Oh, barrel dragon. Okay, now it's getting serious. Let's see if we can get something crazy here. Yeah, this card looks really, really good. I don't have this in PSA 10, so I'd take a CGC 9.5 for now. That, that would be pretty cool. Let's see what we can get. We have a edges 9.5, our first 9.5 on edges, unfortunately. We have a 10 on corners. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's see. Surface, will it be above an 8.5? Let's go. 9.5. Okay, okay. I must have just missed something on the Sujin. That's that, that was just, I guess, something I missed. Okay, and then finally, come on. Centering 9.5. Let's go. A 9.5 error. Okay. So clearly it doesn't have anything to do with the fading. I must have just missed something on those 8.5s that I couldn't see through the case or like I just forgot about. 9.5 barrel dragon. We will take that. Three 9.5 subgrades and a 10. I don't know if you have to have three tens to get a 10 overall, uh, or maybe it's just two, because I know at Beckett it's three tens is required. That's really nice though. That's an ultra rare. That's sick. I don't have that as a 10 in PSA, so that's gonna like fit in my set for now, which is pretty cool. That is pretty awesome. Let's see. Uh back on this one. Insufficient ink as well. I just wonder why they didn't label the Kazi. It's kind of weird. What else do we have? We have surface appears to be pretty good on this one, whichever one it is. Let's flip this guy around. We have oh the change art. I wonder what they'll do because of this name. The name is a little bit weird. And of course, it's scratched up right there in the right in the middle, unfortunately. Appears to be pretty good, though. Let's just see what it got. We have the first one. 10 edges. Beautiful start. We have a 10 corners. Okay, it all comes down to the surface. I don't know if this, this change of heart name is going to mess it up. Please don't mess it up. Let's go. Come on. Get like a nine at least. Nine? Okay, that's not that bad. What's the centering going to get? A nine? <laughs> Come on! Two tens and two nines. So I got a nine. Okay. Okay, why is this centering nine? Let's look. Yeah, it's pretty OC. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's fair. Nine centering. I can, I can accept that. So basically, we needed a 9.5, and I bet the name factored in, because this is not like a normal thing to happen. Um, so that probably counted off, which I respect that. I mean, it definitely takes away from like the eye appeal, which I think is a reasonable thing to, you know, to, to, 
which I think is a reasonable thing to count off for. So I just said that like four times, by the way, there was four takes for me to say that. Oh, uh, let's just keep going. I can't speak. All right, back service here. Do we have another little ding here? No, I think it's another hair. Okay, it's a little hairy. The dogs are at it again. All right, what card is this? Ooh, solemn judgment. And this is the gray one. This one is sick. Okay, if we get like a nine to five on this, that's gonna be amazing. We have 9.5 edges. Okay, not 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 what we're looking for. A lot of them have 10, but that's not too bad. Centering's actually bad on this guy, too. Corners 10. Okay, we're just gonna need a nice service grade. I don't know if it's gonna happen with this gray service. Let's see. Oh, come on, man. An eight. Okay, and then the centering is a nod. 8.5? What? Okay, of course, the, the case is damaged. We mentioned that. Was it? Okay, wh what is this surface grade, man? An eight? It's because it's gray, isn't it? Okay, maybe is there some? Okay, there's a little dot up there. An eight? Wow, I really got to go back and check the pre grade. 8.5 feels a little rough, but okay. Let's put that right there. That is a beautiful card, though, even in that 8.5. That looks sick. All right, can we get something? epic here we have insufficient ink yet again uh back surface looks good mirror force same thing it's, if this gets an eight i'm it's gonna be because it's gray unfortunately all right first one is edges 10 beautiful here's what i love about the cgc returns is the, the subgrades i just love doing that corners 10 okay come on don't give us an eight please give us a reasonable service score it's because it's gray, man. It's because it's gray. Are you kidding me? It's faded. How are you giving this an aid? Come on, man. That is so messed up. Because look at the other grades. Nine centering. Wait, why is that nine centering? Somebody look at this centering and tell me why this is a nine centering. Look at this. Okay, let's look at this. At the top are these two. These are like perfectly equal right here. Am I missing something? The bottom and the top. This looks like perfect centering. What? What? Look at this centering on the back. It's slightly this way, but that's not nine. Look at the look at the front. That's 10 centering on the front. And you, you could say like nine centering on the back. So it's definitely 9.5, I would say. And then the surface, I mean, just don't get me started on the surface. Like, what is wrong with this thing? Did I, I mean, did I miss something in the pre-grade? I'm pretty sure all these scratches are on the case because I would have seen a giant streak like that, I, I would think. I don't know. I don't know. Another 8.5 that was very, very minty. So unfortunately there, uh, let's just keep going. I don't, I don't know how I'm feeling about this. I like that our edges and corners are doing really good because you know, they're obviously nice, but the surface feels to be getting a little bit, uh, a little bit destroyed. I don't really know. Well, I do kind of have an idea, but all right, time wizard. What you got here? This one definitely had stuff on the surface, didn't it? I don't remember where it was. It had some surface something. Yeah, it was like right there. They're like, look like little water droplets. I don't know what that is. It's really weird. Let's see what this got. 10 edges, beautiful yet again. Okay, 10 corners. All right, what's the service? This is gonna be an eight. We're gonna find out, let's go. Service eight. Okay, this actually has stuff on the surface and got an eight and those two had nothing on them. So that's interesting. And then a 9.5. So we have <laughs> these surfaces, man, they're destroying me. Okay, so this got an eight because of these weird like watermarks, which actually makes sense because those are actually on the surface. Okay, all right, three 8.5s in a row on the big ones. That's exciting. Um, the back is very nice of this card. Three to go. Let's see what we can get. B Skull, our lucky card. Come on, B Skull, bring it back for us. This one's actually one of the least faded ones. Um, okay, the service. <laughs> Can you stop damaging him right there, please? That's so annoying. Okay, service is nice. Let's see what we got on the Beast Skull Dragon. We've had great luck with it before. We have a 9.5. Okay, all right, not bad. I can't be mad. 10 corners. Okay, now it's up for the service. Come on, baby. This is your time. Be a 9 plus. Come on, man. What is the deal here? A 10 centering. We finally get a 10 centering. We get a 9 overall because it's an 8.5 on the service. Okay, somebody, please tell me what's going on with the services, man. Besides the fading, which if you're acknowledging it as an error, why is it counting off? Like, why is it counting off as an ink error and also hurting the, the surface grade? It shouldn't hurt the surface grade. I, I don't understand. A nine, this should easily, like, let's say this is a, a 9.5 surface, which is what it looks like to me. Then this card's like a 10 or a 9.5, but instead it's just a nine. So I don't know. I don't know what to do about these. I mean, we, oh no, wait, what? They get something in there like PSA. They got a dot in there like PSA. All the reasons I didn't send a PSA were the it's happening here. Okay. All right. Let's turn it around. Thousand Dragon. I remember this being one of the most minty cards. So, oh, look, streaks down right in the middle right there. Okay. Unfortunate there. All right. Thousand Dragon. Let's see. Please be minty. Let's go. 10 edges. Beautiful. Beautiful. 10 corners. Also beautiful. Okay. Moment of truth. Is it going to beat an 8.5?
8.5 centering. Maybe if you didn't have this dot, I just spit on it, by the way. Maybe you just have this dot in there, that would help, uh, which was not there, by the way. Oh, come on, man. This is ridiculous. 8.5. So why did these, I still don't understand. What about these made these 9.5 surfaces? I don't get it. I don't get it. I just don't get it, man. I don't get it. We're on to the final card. I think this is a gate guardian. This card actually was not that minty, but I sent it anyway. Wow, the scratching is bad on the case on this one. Look at this, dude. Look at that. What is happening on that? That looks terrible. Okay. All right, that's exciting. All right, next grade. Let's go. 10 edges. Okay, nice. I don't remember what was wrong. I think it was OC and had maybe some surface issue. 10 corners. Surface is going to be like a six on this. Seven. Okay, 8.5. Oh my gosh, man. So all the things that got sevens, I think they still counted off for the cert for the faded. They counted like 1.5 off for the fade. And then I guess 1.5 off for whatever the other issue was. Where was the issue on this card? Oh, yeah, there's a big old print line. Yeah, so that was I mean, that should not have gotten a great service grade. OK, yeah, this was this was a little disappointing because I was I was hoping that because they acknowledged the fade as an error, which they did on all of them except one for some reason, and that one got a good grade. The since they acknowledged it, they would say, you know, this doesn't count off. 1.5 grades because it's you know a normal card it's just an error card but they didn't so we got a ton of nines i mean but all these cards except like i think the one the time wizard with like the weird stuff on it and then the gay guardian with a giant print line i mean they're like mint like really nice cards but yeah we the, the best we got with two 9.5s which i'm not mad about 9.5s it's just like eight point so many 8.5s which is a real bummer so this was fun to do you know it's always fun to send somewhere else they are getting better grades than they would have gotten psa it would have been like sixes and sevens maybe eights on the those probably so i guess these probably got the same grade but uh, everything else probably did a little better um, so this was fun i hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of a switch up let me know if you guys want to see more cgc stuff uh maybe non-faded stuff and see how they grade those and if you guys did enjoy it make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos like this shout out to choice 333 nightshade gaming yt hayden jameson squirtle hoppus flexi boy dizzy ernesto deanda puffins of doom tcg trusted cards jt cho tomato juice daxter tomefo show and then high show christopher ward ian musa john nolan junior barding mike nance mimic gecko seth fisher stanley thomas mclean and tone z thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys next time peace